I was born and raised here in Kansas City, so I love this city. This is everything to me. I'm in this process of building myself every day. I kind of wanted to give you guys just that idea of the message that I'm about to provide. I was 230 pounds. I was always overweight my whole life. I had never worked out. I mean, it just wasn't my thing. I never ate healthy. It wasn't my thing. Well, then I got shot. I became paralyzed. I started to face a level of adversity. Things got harder. There's no way I should be in this position. There's no way I'm different. I didn't want to be different. I grew up my whole life always trying to fit in. And I knew it. I knew that I was trying to fit in because I really didn't have nobody that showed me how to be myself. But now I'm in this position where I'm different no matter how much I try to be normal. No matter how much I try to get out and go out into the community, I'm always going to be seen as different because you can see my physical disability. Everybody say they got superpowers. Mine is being positive every day when anyone else that sees me probably can never see themselves in my position smile. It is easy to fall back into a negative trap more than the work that you have to put in to be positive when you're surrounded by negativity. How do I show people that they can be more from the situation that happened to me? Because I'm telling you, I was defeated. Y'all see me today and I'm not. That's when I created my nonprofit organization, the Disabled But Not Really Foundation. I didn't know at that point of what our direction was going to be. All I knew is that growing up, everybody that I had ever witnessed who had a disability was overweight or battling some type of depression. I wanted to change that. And at that point, I was just like, man, I just want to help people with disabilities become more active. Like, the disability numbers are high, even in Kansas City alone, but we don't see people with disabilities because they're stuck at home. What are they stuck at home for? Because they're battling social issues. They're battling depression. They're battling being overweight. How do you change that? Disabled, but not really. But you got to know yourself. You got to be aware of who you are. My story doesn't just help people with disabilities. It doesn't just empower the community where I come from. It's showing people that if you take time to actually figure out who you are, your life will be amazing. I feel like I've actually conquered everything that I was facing. And my message is, if you know who you are, then you can become unstoppable. But if you don't know yourself, you still got time to figure out who you are. Because the moment that you can accept who you are, it's just the beginning process of knowing who you are. And once you figure that out, and you get that self-love, that real self-love, the self-love that y'all see right now, nobody, nobody can stop you from anything you want to do, period. But you also have to remember, tomorrow's a new day and you start over. If you own the day, you own your life.